voice of young people and meet the future generation. Hi guys, you're watching Youth Talk. A study shows that young people cares more about global issues such as climate change and a green future. As for green future, cleaner energy is one of the key ways leading to it. And some pioneers among young people has already been working in this industry for many years. Today we invite Ben Smith to join us. He is a commercial advisor from Sinopec Australia. He is going to share with us his practical experience and thoughts on this topic. Now let's meet him. Hi, my name is Ben Smith. I, I work as a commercial advisor for Sinopec, seconded into the Australian Pacific LNG project. Um, I'm originally from the UK, uh, but I've worked uh, for over 15 years in senior commercial positions for oil and gas companies in four continents across the world. Firstly, could you please introduce your practical experience in the clean energy sector? For the past 15 years or so, I've been working in the business development function for um, various oil and gas companies. And in that time, originally, I was working on many projects related to gas infrastructure and transactions. But in more recent years, I've found that a lot of that workload has shifted to green projects and renewable energy. What other forms of clean energy do you think are the trends for the future? How do you believe clean energy is going to change the world? I'm a strong advocate for a green energy future, but I'm also a practical realist. In my experience, the journey to a clean energy future is not simply represented by a step change, but instead it is a flight path, where we must pursue clean options that represent the lowest hanging fruit first, i.e. those technologies and options that are already economic and deliverable. The economics of firm renewable energy and decarbonisation projects are further complicated by every country's individual geography and challenges, as that research and development is critical to lowering the cost of these technology solutions as well as increasing the efficiencies. And for increased acceleration and development of these types of technologies, it requires support from the public, and that's through enabling policies and policy setting as well as through funding and subsidies and support required for research and development. What kind of mission do you think young people should take on in the field of clean energy? The youth of today and future generations must focus on education and advocacy. And by advocacy, I don't mean simply being noisy about wanting to change and blaming others for the state that the world is in today. I mean advocacy by way of educating yourselves on the issues and the challenges that we face, as well as the solutions on how we can face those issues and, and, and correct them moving into the future. Wow, it seems Ben really has some insights. Let's collaborate with him to build a sustainable future. And if you have any words to say on this topic, feel free to tell us in the comments. This is Youth Talk and we will see you next time.